sacred souls welcome back to another big card reading my name is toke if you are new here thank you so much for joining us today's reading is very similar to my most recent pick a card reading which was on why do people love you what about you inspires others they were looking at how the spirit world sees you and we're looking to see you know anything we can get from there and to see also if these are things that you already know about or if they are new to you okay so i hope you guys enjoy this i think this is a very pick a card this is a fun reading and i'm trying to be nosy in a way to just kind of see how the spirit world perceives perceives you guys okay and before we even get into this video i want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys that has been supporting me supporting this channel that has been showing it so much love know that that love is definitely reciprocated okay so we have three groups here for you to pick from and in order for this reading to resonate with you you have to be personally synced into this reading by picking a pile by also exchanging energy with this reading or this video through you know liking commenting whatever you feel called to okay so i want to go ahead and introduce you guys to the three piles that we have today for my pile one all the way to the left we have here the pyrite crystal okay so here for my group number two here in the middle we have the malachite all right and then for my group number three here here we have the serpentine crystal So if you need to take a minute to pause, please go ahead and do that, okay? But once you have picked your pile of piles, then I will be seeing you in your reading. Hello there, my group number one. Welcome to your reading where we're taking a look at how does the spirit world sees you, okay? So yes, it's a very general reading. I absolutely have no idea what to expect from this. I'm sure you're feeling the same, but we're gonna get into it, okay? So this is the archetype that is showing how the spirit world sees you, as well as the radiant sun uh, uh, astrology, this is showing us, you know, more information astrology-wise, okay? So we're gonna decipher that together. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I'm sending you so much love, so much goodness, okay? <laughs> so, wow, Gnosis is how the spirit world sees you. Okay, 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 okay. So the archetype that represents the way that the spirit world sees you is Gnosis. And that is a very, very, very strong start. And I love this because Gnosis means knowledge, okay? I feel like they see you as someone who is a very free spirit here, indicating with the bird here, uh, how you like to find different information that helps you evolve into different cycles or different stages and phases of your life or just evolution in itself, okay? The journey of life. I feel like you're someone who is very interested on the information about mysteries, uh, uh, the occult and you know anything that has to do with accumulating knowledge especially knowledge ancient knowledge or ancient histories or ancient mysteries i feel like you're the type of person who loves to study ancient civilizations and it's very interesting because the, the way that the spirit world sees you is that you're the type of person that if you want something done or if you want to achieve a goal or whatever it is you definitely will find the information that you need you will turn every situation or every challenges into 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 you mold it you mold it into how you want and it's because of the understanding okay okay it's if, it's because of the understanding that you achieve while you're acquiring this knowledge okay because knowledge without understanding what it means is useless it's absolutely useless and knowledge without wisdom with knowledge without wisdom is also useless okay so i think that you they see that you understand this dynamic and yeah they're definitely recognizing you here as someone who knows a lot too who holds a lot of knowledge within okay i feel like you try to find information externally but also you dive into yourself you introspect you go within you take the time to meditate to travel even i feel like you do definitely uh astro travel <laughs> you may know that you do that or not but yes it's here so 
How does the spirit voice tease you? They're drawing me here to the pyrite and they're saying fool's gold. And I'm also hearing the face of phrase that, you know, turning base metals into gold. Alchemy. They see you as an alchemist, someone who, again, is able to alchemize their experiences, especially the shitty ones that you don't like. Or you're, you, you just know where to go find the information to take you to the next level of where you're headed. Okay. So let's see here what astrology. <laughs> health exactly okay health okay so some of you in here definitely might be sun and virgos you might it doesn't it doesn't have to be but yes the astrology that's coming out for us here is sun and virgo okay and i love that because you know virgo is ruled by mercury it's a earth sign and it is also it's a sign that is ruled by mercury okay so it's going right along with gnosis with your zeal to accumulate knowledge because mercury also deals with information it's a very fast moving uh especially when it comes to mental agility so i feel like this your mentality definitely bodes well for you in all your endeavors okay you're definitely someone who they see that you like to take care of yourself you like to feed yourself not only okay you not only feed your body but you feed your mind and your spirit and you're very aware of the things that you want to feed yourself with here you take very 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 good care of yourself here and i love that i think that they're very proud of you okay <laughs> i love this they see you as someone who is very harmonious it's like yes they see you as prudent. They see you as devoted. They see you as, wow, just <laughs> the hermit also is coming to mind here. They definitely see you as someone who will do whatever it takes, okay? If it needs discipline, if it needs, you know, devotion, if it needs whatever it needs to elevate yourself, okay? Because that's what I'm getting here with health and with gnosis, especially with Mercury again moving. So, we're going to go ahead and see what your tarot cards are telling me here, okay? What do they want to tell us? I'm going to be starting from right to left. It's just, you know, what I decide to do today, <laughs> There's no real reason, okay? So we're going to start here. And the first card that we have for you is Five of Pentacles reversed, okay? Exactly. With Five of Pentacles comes a lot of change, a lot of transformation, and a lot of breaking out of lack mentality, okay? And this is where I see you, again, taking care of yourself or indulging in things that doesn't make you feel like you lack anything. Indulging in things that reinstate your abundance, your birthright to abundance here. And, you know, moving away from the illusory shackles of fear of lack even or fear of being seen or fear of any fear that you might have here because five of pentacles always it shows someone being left out in the cold or just feeling like you're struggling alone with no one to help you so it's almost like you find it being in reverse i feel like you reject that notion that you lack anything especially materially you know that you can again go and find the plans go and find the blueprint to what it is that you need to understand to achieve whatever goal it is that you want to achieve let's go ahead and see what this one says here justice we have justice in reverse okay the spirit realm definitely sees you as a high i don't know <laughs> Like with gnosis there, I feel like you are the keeper of knowledge, okay? It feels like. I don't know why they said that, but the keeper of knowledge or something like that. It's like you're a gatekeeper for something. I'm getting the vibe that um, your sense of honesty, your sense of being fair is definitely... Like you're, you're a very fair person and you bring justice to scenarios that needs justice. You fight for justice. You are you know, essentially a freedom fighter as well, especially when it comes to, again, breaking away from mentality that holds us back, that makes us feel, you know, in those lower vibrations of shame, of doubt, of fear, and whatnot. I feel like you're the type that knows how to find the information that releases us and reinstates our divinity and our, you know, connection to intelligence our connection to information and even how to use that intelligence in a way that it's not in a way that is fair in a way that doesn't hurt others in a way that you know you're holding your sword in a way that you're also just not willy-nilly following what people are saying 
because again you get this sense of knowing and this intelligence within you that helps you do justice to your affairs in reality okay the last card that we have here for you is the lovers it keeps coming up about choice here it's like they're applauding you for knowing how to get yourself out of the most detrimental conditions okay that will yes that will almost shake your foundation here especially materially and it's like no matter how much a foundation tends to crumble or no matter what scenarios leads your foundation to crumbling you do justice to it by through your choices they see you definitely as someone who's made able to make a decision from a fair place of mind from a very very honest place okay because your sense of truth is unmatched because it's also because of your knowing it's your inner knowing and your inner truth that always leads you that always guides you it's essentially your inner compass okay they see you as someone who is able to use their mind to work for them instead of their mind working against them, okay? And it's through your choices too. Your choices are your actions. Your choices are your actions are also being highlighted here, saying that they know that you will make the choices that is benefiting your highest good, okay? Like you will choose the path of your highest good. Even if it's so even if it's a path less traveled, you will choose a path path of your highest good here they're saying that you know you may go through financial difficulties but you never let them hold you back because you're not so attached to like you have the knowledge that you know this isn't just what life is all about it's not all about material materialism okay and i feel like they're saying here that you have the choice to be able to shift your perception in a way that is beneficial for the highest good through finding knowledge through finding wisdom and gathering these things and connecting all the dots together so they definitely see you as a high i don't know like a just uh, i don't know i i definitely sense your connection here to spirit okay you're very connected to the spirit realm it's almost like you get information without even asking for it they just come to you and i think it's because your zeal is to know like your your <laughs> your drive is to know you know and that also means that you're very very connected to the truth here so you get a lot of information from your crown chakra as well Let's go ahead and move on here to the Oracle cards. Let's see anything we can get from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck here. They definitely see your very confidence to be able to take charge of your life. Okay, that's what I'm getting as well. I love it. Yep, exactly. Okay, I love this. I love this so much because look at this look at this trust in higher forces again this is my sense this is that sense of knowing that i was feeling it's just inner knowing it's pure knowing and it can't be dismissed you know this is how the spirit world sees you is that you're very connected to truth you are a shaman trust in higher forces okay with shaman there trust in higher forces your intuition is unmatched when it comes to finding the right information for something okay and then here we also have heart guardian love and let yourself be loved love and let yourself be loved okay wow it's very interesting okay they're 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 wow okay oh my god okay 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 they're here bringing me to the relationship that you have with yourself okay and it's like you're very loyal to yourself and they love that about you they want you to keep being open and loyal to yourself to keep diving in with yourself to, and to, to 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 use grace when you're finding this information as well because i think that there are some times that you will find an information that doesn't make you feel really you know uplifted or empowered also getting the vibe here that you and you're embracing or you're integrating they see you as someone who's always integrating the light and the dark okay always too always transmuting fear into power always transmuting pain into into peace that's what i'm getting here okay so they're saying yeah let yourself be loved so let's go ahead and move on here to um the Starseed Oracle deck. Let's see what we can get from there. I hope you enjoyed this reading so far. And if you haven't already subscribed, 
If this reading resonated with you, consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, so we have two cards from here. Let's see what this says, okay? Oh, a new earth, exactly. So they definitely see you as a leader, someone who is capable of using this knowledge, this gnosis to change something or to be the leader that you wish you had, okay? Because a new earth here says it's happening, keep holding the vision, exactly. I think that the information that you gather gives you a vision of what the future could look like for you, okay? Again, to achieve that, that goal or something that you really feel called to do, okay? And it's tied here into knowledge, into gnosis, and into intuition, trusting your intuition and the information within your own body that is now opening up to you, okay? through justice because yeah okay the other card that we have for you here is the golden children the inner child tenderness innocence and rare gifts okay rare gifts and i love it because you're definitely with gnosis i mean come on gnosis is just packed it's like it packs a punch okay and i feel like to even be be to to oh my god gnosis is such that to, for this kind of knowledge to reveal itself to you okay because i feel like i honestly believe that knowledge seeks the seeker <laughs> like <laughs> knowledge and the seeker they're intertwined okay so if you're always seeking knowledge it's coming to you and i feel like it can only come to you if you have the absolute best intentions or pure intentions okay to maybe just find out about this knowledge to uh, to 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 find out about this knowledge, you know, you may feel called to find out about this knowledge or you may feel called to then help people with this knowledge that you are gathering, okay? Because you're definitely finding some information here and I think it's from the spirit realm, okay? It's definitely from the spirit realm. I feel like you go into the spirit realm a lot. I feel like you, 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 oh, okay, okay. Mercury, her mess is coming back to mind. You definitely are friends with the spirit world, okay? You go in and out. The spirit world and our reality here, it's, it's almost, there's a very thin veil there for you because I feel like you will go in and out of it very, very fast, just like Mercury, her mess does. And her mess, her mess is the master, thrice the great, uh, her mess, Tristan Skistus. He is a, a god of knowledge and wisdom. Okay, well, that's also coming in. Okay, yeah. Hermes was the god, he's the god of wisdom. He's also said to be the scribe of the gods here. God of wisdom, god of magic. So I think that your energy and that energy, they are similar, okay? This is how the spirit world sees you. They see you as someone who's able to, again, bring yourself here from the depth of darkness into light and also understanding why you had to descend there, you know, even though you subconsciously were there, but still, it's it's beautiful. It's very beautiful because I think that you're transmuting a lot that was in your subconscious things and patterns that have been, you know, past old versions of you that do not even exactly they don't fit into this new earth i think you're able to definitely cut through those illusions okay and yeah you're a very fair person you're a very honest person very forthright person is what i'm getting here that's how the spirit world sees you okay and like i said for this knowledge to be opened up to you you have to have that tenderness or that inner child exactly it's like a genuine feeling of wanting to know you know not to use it against people exactly not to use it against people it's just a genuine feeling of hey i want to know like i just want to know i want to know about my creator i want to know about what else is in the universe i want to know about you know what vibrations what frequencies uh can we tap into i want to know about what dimensions there are and how far it goes and you know yeah like there's so much here i feel like you dive into tesseracts you dive into very wow you dive you dive in you dive in you dive in and i think it's because they throw you a bone and you follow it here with the lovers it's almost like they throw you a bone and you 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 make the choice to follow that path even though it's not the path that maybe a lot of people will appreciate about you but still you do what you want you make the choice that is again beneficial for your own highest good here and this is how you're opening up to your rare gift your ancient gift that you came here with because so long as you keep diving into gnosis you will keep finding 
the answers, okay? That your soul has the questions to hear. Okay, very interesting, you guys. Very talkative, too, I feel like, this pile, okay? Mercury is definitely very active in your energy. You're always, like, it's you're very inquisitive, yeah. You're just, some of you here might even be Geminis as well. I see you as Geminis. I see you as Libra as well. Libra is also coming to mind. Libra, definitely, okay? Because, yeah, I'm definitely feeling Libra with love there because Libra is also ruled by Venus and Mercury and it's almost like you take care of yourself like you nurture yourself you're very you know in tune with your feminine side regardless of the gender here but also your mind here likes to work on overtime looking for information <laughs> you know you're very interested about the world around us for sure and beyond okay so they like this they they like that you have an open mind when it comes to you diving into the unknown and you're not afraid at all to, you know, go in. So let's see here from your magical spell what they want you to know, okay? Beauty, beauty, that Venus energy, I'm telling you. That Venus energy, see, is coming back again. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even know why. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Okay, see here we have beauty. This is how the this is how the spirit world sees you. And these are the magical spell cards, okay? These are qualities that you already have, that you already embody, okay? And they're reminding you of these qualities, the spirit realm is, okay? So beauty is here. I love the red. I mean, you know, we're Valentine's Day is coming up soon. So yes, we have here, I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. Again, that is your inner knowing. Your inner knowing is very beautiful, okay? I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. Allow what is within to shine, please, okay? Look at this. Inner child all day. It's like you're very genuine, very authentic energy. You know, you, 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 wow, I'm getting also Sagittarius energy here even. You know, it's just like you're, you love to explore the world. You love to learn philosophies of life. You love to learn from different cultures, okay? And you, you, with what you gather, you, you, you use your own judgment and your own justice, okay? To implement boundaries and build your life as you wish. Here, Joy says, they see you as joy. Like, these are so cute and beautiful and loving. Uh, as I do will, so would it be. Let joy and light radiate from me. Yes. As I do will, so would it be. Let joy and light radiate from me. And the last card, there's no way, you guys. There is absolutely no way that we have another justice card coming in. And I love this one so freaking much, okay? Justice with the number five here says, By the power of three by three, Ma'at delivers justice to me. By the power of three by three, Ma'at delivers justice to me. And you know, I think justice is really talking here about this five of pentacles energy. That energy where you feel like you lack something or you feel like there's, you know, you're not complete. Or, you know, there is difference between yearning for more in the sense of knowing that, you know what, I know what the potential is. I know that there is unlimited potential here. And there... At, there's a difference between knowing that, yes, I know I'm yearning to fulfill my highest potential as opposed to, oh, I lack this and I don't ever think that I will ever get this or I'm in this problem right now, this challenge right now, and that is all that will keep happening. No, okay? So I feel like justice here is coming to reinstate that so long as you always understand that there is unlimited potential you can always get yourself from anything okay you can make yourself from nothing into something because you already have all the tools within you it's about implementing and integrating all these things justice here because justice is always on your side spirit is always on your side spirit always wants the best for us but we also have to tune into that frequency tune into that perception that knows like yes that knows and trusts the inner knowing that I am, <laughs> that listen, it is my birthright to be abundance. And I, I know that there will be ebb and flows and it's okay. There will be highs, there will be lows, but justice will always be on my side. So long as I'm honest and I'm fair and I'm, and I'm 
you know, authentic in the things that I desire, okay? And if my desires are, are aligned with my highest good, then it will come to fruition. So this is how the spirit world sees you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Okay, let's rewind for a second. I'm seeing here a pattern of numbers, chron chronological numbers, okay? And this is, again, how you know that everything, like, you're never going to skip a step, okay? No matter if you decide to let go of a burden for right now, you know, a mental burden, something that was heavy for you to process, especially within this five of pentacles. If you choose to drop that now, it's not like you also, you didn't miss any steps, okay? You, they need to, they, they're, they're saying that they want you to know that no steps here has been skipped, okay? Because things will always follow how divine order things will always follow be followed in divine order here so don't worry there's like you can start from anywhere this new earth nothing is ever set in stone okay that's what they're trying to let you know and i think you understand this you have the wisdom within you to understand this because i'm seeing four five and six and six here appeared two times so five also appeared two times that's interesting your creativity here matters, okay? You tapping into joy really, really matters here because I think joy is what helps you manifest the things that you want to manifest, okay? And also really, really feeling good about yourself because with number four there, number four signifies cancer. It signifies our mood, our inner self, okay? Really like feeling good about yourself really helps you, really helps you call things in because you already know something here. You already have the wisdom and it's about you just taking care of yourself and flowing, I feel like. Setting up boundaries in the places that you need to implement those boundaries, okay? So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope that it provided to you again clarity, comfort, and confirmation. If you already haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello there, my beautiful group number two. Welcome to your reading where we are taking a look at how the spirit world sees you, okay? I have no idea what to expect from this and I'm sure you're feeling the same, okay? But here is the archetype that it that shows how the spirit world sees you. And this is astrology that also helps us, you know, accumulate more information. So, interesting. Okay. Okay. They see you as answered prayers. That's what I'm hearing immediately. They see you as answered prayers because here the archetype is the prayer. The prayer, okay? The prayer, 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 prayer. Okay, this is very interesting. So yeah, immediately what I heard, yeah, I'm taking a little bit of time to understand this, okay? The prayer. They see you as answered prayers. They see you as a blessing. They see you as someone who is very in tune with their own magic and your own wishes and your own prayers okay it's like i see that you you always ask spirit for help which is why they reward you with answers or with you know whatever it is that you're asking for but like i agreed is a very protective stone and i feel like the spirit realm is very protective of you and your prayers okay they're protective of you and your prayers because, again, you are answered prayers that I think, I don't know, the world needs or something here. So that's definitely very interesting to me. I want to see here what the archetype is. Defense. Okay. We have here Mars in, Mars in Taurus with defense. Okay. I don't even know if this is about telling you how they see you or... I think this is a message from the spirit realm about your prayers, okay? I don't know where this is going, but indulge me here for a second. I believe that the spirit realm, again, we've already established that they see you as answered prayers, but it's almost like they're trying to send you another message here of not being so defensive or not believing in your prayers. It's like don't be defensive especially when you've asked for something when you've prayed for something to come here and when that thing shows itself to you okay 
because with this hand, this hand is reaching out. It's reaching out into the ethers. It's reaching out into the spirit realm or it's reaching out from the underworld. Okay, the spirit world definitely sees you as someone who is able to stand their ground, okay? Someone who's able to stand their ground and also hold faith here because with prayer, that's what I'm getting. It's like once you set your intentions, once you pray, once you do your rituals, your meditation, whatever it is, you stand strong knowing that, okay, this prayer that I've prayed is protected, okay? And I'm expecting that everything that I've intended or asked the spirit realm is going to come back to fruition. It's going to come to me three times, three times, three, okay? That's what I'm getting here because they see you as a force to be reckoned with, okay? They see you as someone who, yeah, people should not even bother going up against because you are the bull here, okay? You are, they see you as a bull. They see you as relentless. They see you as someone who's going to just keep going keep moving keep praying you know they're applauding your faith here they're applauding your ability to keep praying or to keep being devoted to something here even when it's not in the physical realm yet for you okay so they're also coming here to remind you that your prayers have been answered don't worry don't be defensive calm down don't you know don't put your boundaries up or anything uh especially when it comes to the prayers that you want answered because they are answered know that it's like they want to give you that reassurance to know that okay because they don't want something here to miss you just from you being defensive okay or you not believing that kind of thing so let me go ahead here and tap into your tarot i want to elaborate on this please okay i can't really see much with this card Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, talk about a, for a force we reckon with. We got the Queen of Wands. Okay. Very, very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was feeling. It's like, you know, I almost didn't even... I, I was almost heading another way and they brought me back to where they wanted to bring me. And that's what I'm getting here is that no, it's about believing for you. This is about believing in your power, believing in your, your energy, believing in your magic here. Exactly. They see you as someone who, again, like once you set your intentions, your rituals, whatever, your faith is, your faith is immovable. There you go. That's why you got the bull. That's why you got the bull. And Mars, Mars is our very active energy. So you actively believe in your prayers. And you're very stubborn about your prayers, which is why I see that the Queen of Wands is here. This is why you are a force to reckon with, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Hey, let me see what the first card said. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Blessings on blessings on blessings. <laughs> okay, blessings on blessings on blessings. Your ancestors are definitely here, um... Because especially with Ten of Pentacles, I always read that as the card of the ancestors or like the card of like, yeah, being connected to your ancestors. So do you do you do y'all see? Do you guys see what's going on here? Because I love the snake that is holding uh, that is holding protected something here. Almost. See, this is you almost protecting your power. And also you will slither and use your venom when you need to okay especially when it comes to something that is coming to bother this prayer or bother this intention you stand in the front lines okay of your dreams of your goals and you do not let anything break that boundary or cross your boundaries to your prayers this is how they see you i love this energy okay i love this so much let's see what this is Two of swords, exactly. You don't give a damn. You do not give a damn if it's a friend or a foe, okay? You stand for, oh, I love the way that you put your boundaries up. Like, I truly love that. I truly love that, especially when it comes to prayer. Because, you know, prayer, this is our intention. This is our innermost desires. This is our heart desires that I'm literally shouting out to the creator or, like, you know, begging or not, not necessarily even begging. But it's like, okay, I'm asking for something. I have to make sure that I put myself in the right position to be able to receive that blessing as well. This is what I'm getting from you is that you don't play when it comes to putting yourself, okay? Putting up defenses or putting up whatever you need to put up to be in the place where your blessings reaches you. You don't even have, you don't even, 
I'm getting the fact that you attract your blessings. You say what you want to the universe, okay? And it makes its way to you. And you don't let delays, detours, fears, doubts about your dreams. You don't let those bother you at all. You do not let them bother you at all because you know what's yours will make its way to you. It's about you recognizing that knowing. It's about you recognizing that I do not chase. I attract. And Queen of Wands is a very attractive, attractive queen. So I am enjoying this. I love this. We get two, okay, two, two times. And also, even before I started your reading, when I went to go pick out an oracle, uh, a sun, radiant sun oracle card for yours, uh, intuition flipped open as soon as I touched that card. So with the number two here, I'm two number twos. I'm getting the vibe that they love your intuition. They love how your intuition holds fate, okay? This is how the spirit world sees you. They see you as someone who is trusting of their intuition, okay? Who doesn't let the fears and who doesn't let the fears hold you back, especially when it comes to your prayers or when it comes to something that you're trying to manifest here because you sit on a cemented, immovable fate when it comes to the two of swords here. You may be afraid, you may be scared, but again, like those feelings are present, they're there, but it really doesn't bother you that much. Like it's not going to get in the way of you manifesting your grandest heart's desires here because it will come to fruition no matter what, okay? No matter what. So if you have, if you're apprehensive about your prayers being answered, this is where that reminder is coming from, where it's like, don't be too defensive. Don't worry, it will come open be open be open to receive be outrageously open to receive i once read a book that's called outrageous openness and they're bringing that book into my mind now and it's a woman essentially she is really trying to cultivate her relationship with the universe and be like you know what i, I want to be outrageously open to whatever it is that you want to send to me right now you know and she'd have these desires of like, hey, I want to travel to somewhere. I want to travel the world, but I don't have the money for it. And somehow, some way, someone knows someone who, you know, <laughs> someone knows someone who introduces her to a travel agency that's offering a free something to where she ends up traveling the world for free. That is what outrageous openness is. This is you having your prayers be answered by the universe. And I love this energy. Like, my God. Okay? Oh, my God. It's a very empowering energy. It's a very, like, listen. Ask for it. Ask for it. And, you know, when you ask for it, ask for how good can it get. Like, universe, show me how good it can get. I've already seen, you know, I've already witnessed so many silver linings. But keep showing me how good can it get. And this is where you know your prayers are always going to be answered. Ten of Pentacles reinstates that. Ten of Pentacles is telling you like, you know what? Being in a position of be, uh, of gratitude. Yes. Okay. Gratitude. Gratitude for what it is that you've already amassed. Okay. For what it is that you've already grounded brings you like it, it it brings you more blessings basically is what i'm getting here this is why you're on phase because you're always in a position of gratitude you're always in a mentality of gratitude so you know and i feel like that's where your defenses are set is that you make sure that you are in a place of gratitude and you set your boundaries up to anything or any illusions that may arise to you know bring you in a place of feeling like you're not you're ungrateful okay so I really love that energy. Uh, your sexual energy here, they're highlighting that within the Queen of Wands. And it's a it, it, sexual energy is a very, very, very sacred, creative energy, okay? And they want you to work with that a little bit more. If you, yeah, I don't know. But they want you to work with that a little bit more. Did you notice that across all of these tarot cards, we have a snake, a serpent in every card here? And it's very interesting because my next read on uh, the, the group number three, their crystal was serpentine. So it's very interesting to see what comes out in that reading. And if you're going to be going to that reading or if they're coming to you. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, this is all that I'm seeing for now. Yeah, they're applauding you for, okay, 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 okay. So I'm also getting here that you're a very strong feminine energy that's also very, like, 
you're comfortable with your masculine energy. You're comfortable with that, okay? The masculine energy that brings up the ideas or that that active principle of going and working for something or putting something together, as well as your intuitive side that's more so receptive, that is passive and receptive, okay? Because within the Queen of Wands, they're integrated. Because in the original Rider Waits deck, the Queen of Wands, you can't even tell if she's a man or a woman. Like, because she's so in tune with those, both of those aspects, the masculinity and the feminine energy. And that's where her, you know, that, and this is how she creates. This is where it's like there's a balance of the masculine and feminine energy that then helps her create with that sexual energy or I don't even know. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, oh uh, yeah, that's how they're showing me that. I feel like your ways are tested and trusted you have done this multiple times especially when it comes to your manifestations like you like you know you know you've seen all your prayers that have been answered you see all your manifestations and all that and they're seeing you and applauding you here as someone who again who has faith who holds faith who really you know manifests from a place of like i've prayed to god i've done everything that i need to do i have you know i'm working here in the physical to do things to put myself in a place of being receptive of what it is that i'm asking for or what it is that i am intending for what it is that i am desiring okay as well as putting the trust in the universe that where you know that the universe is definitely going to pay you where you feel like yes they're definitely there for you where you feel like your answers aren't just going your prayers aren't just going into the abyss or like no one's listening to it it's like no you know this you know that your prayers are being answered because time and time and time and again your reality shows you that you are a living answered prayers you are a walking answered prayers okay and it's time for you to make your life a moving prayer if you will all right so let's go ahead let's go ahead and see what they have to say within the angels and ancestors oracle deck what advice what they want you to know okay that's a lot but uh what flipped open is autumn release the old and rest release the old and rest release the old and rest because with the two of swords with the two of swords the two of swords has to do with air it has to do with our mind it has to do with our mindset our intellect and in the original right away deck, she's sitting on a cemented stone okay signifying again that immovable faith it's like that foundation is never shaken at all but behind her is the ocean and when it comes to the ocean that is our emotion so we see that the, the, the ocean is also scattered so it goes to show you that yes while her and also she's blinded and she's holding two swords but she's holding them like this across her heart which also shows that you know that heart space is kind of open. Yes, she has prayed for this. And yes, she, she has faith that it's going to come. But also, it's almost like her emotions is overruling that faith because that emotion is kind of scattered. So they're calling you to also pull yourself together here. Again, to not be defensive and to, again, calm yourself down. Calm yourself because they know... You know that you know that your prayers are answered and they're seeing you here as answered prayers. And also... The two, the twos in the tarot, they remind us of the high priestess and the high priestess holds, she holds the fruits, okay, <laughs> the fruits behind the veil. So I feel like they're trying to remind you here to not listen or to not look at your external reality to make your internal decisions, okay? Do not base your decisions, your choices on just your physical reality. They're, they're saying here that you don't base your decisions, okay? You don't base your decisions on your physical reality, not, you know, the, 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 the projections of friends, of parents, of, you know, what, what not. That is not how you make your decision. You make your decision, again, from your own inner knowing. It's from your own intuition here, okay? And that's how they see you. That's why you're in a place of power, like the queen of wands here. Because again, it feels to me like you know what you want, you ask for it, and God willing, you get it, you know? Because why not? Because why not? So, release the old and rest. Release your disappointment, past disappointments, okay? Things that did not work out, they just simply did not mean to work out for you. And that should be okay. So, release the old and rest. I feel like that's what that's saying. So, uh, let's go ahead. Let's, let's, see, let's see here. Look at this one. See, this one says, wise one, 
grow within your situation you are very 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 wise especially with the ten of pentacles here i feel like yes you are very 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 wise okay because again the wisdom of your ancestors runs through your veins it runs through you So let's see here what they have to say. Thank you. Can I please get one more? Thank you. Okay. Thank God I'm actually shuffling on camera. So I'm glad I did that today. Yeah. Okay. Y'all saw that, right? I put it back in. And they said, nope, this is to be out. So I love it. They're very adamant. Do you see this? Do you see that when I'm when I'm when I wasn't sure, think about it. I set my intentions for their advice to come in. And when this flipped open, I put it back in there, right? And I wasn't really sure if that was your card, but they they brought it back out. Like, nope, this is yours. It's what's yours will not miss you. If it's meant to come out, it will come back out again. Okay. So I feel like there might be. With this pattern now, I feel like there might be something that is making its way back to you, okay? There's something here that you may have seen in the past that didn't really come to fruition maybe or that it just, I don't know, it it really, it wasn't to its full extent maybe of what you could truly experience from what it is that you've seeded. So you will get an opportunity that this is going to come back around and it's going to come back it's definitely going to come back around and it will flow. You will know. You will know that this is yours. Like, you will know. You will know. You will know. Okay? You will know. See? Connect to your emotions. You will know. There's going to be something that you're going to be revisiting, I feel like. I feel like you're going to be revisiting an emotion because you've actually worked out something here. You've worked out, you've worked out how to be receptive, I feel like. You know, how to wait and watch things and let them come to you instead of you just, you know, chasing it. So, yes, with Water Guardian, connect to your emotions. They're wanting you to connect to your emotions, especially when it comes to your desires. Like, what made you desire that thing? Is it because it was you felt that there was a lack? Or they're asking you here, what are the roots of your desires? What are the roots of your prayers? Why do you want your prayers to be answered? Is it because you're trying to, you know, look good for your physical reality? Or is this really a prayer that is beneficial for your highest good so let's move ahead let's see here okay how do you see my book number twos what can we know from this oracle thank you okay okay i'll take those two okay there's extra for you okay so here we have breath of the cosmos moving from my will to thy will okay breath of the cosmos okay okay this is about your prayers this is about your prayers the universe god whatever it is the creator the infinite creator really wants to show you how much you're loved here that's what i'm getting uh it wants to surprise you it wants to give you gift it wants to bring things like it wants to it wants it wants so much for you because you're a very 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 fiery attractive you know charismatic just beautiful being and very abundant too by the way within the ten of pentacles and here with breath of the cosmos it literally says my will to thy will okay this is where i was asking you connect to your emotions because your prayers what desire are your prayers rooted in what desires are your prayers rooted in is it beneficial to your highest good or is it just you know instant gratification because my will to thy will micromanage in the universe. Do not micromanage the universe, okay? So that's, yeah, that's for you to do what you will, okay? And then here we have lost lands. Soul memories and gifts. You have done this before. You have done this before. And with Ten of Pentacles, again, whenever I see Ten of Pentacles, it reminds me of the ancestors. And this is where that lost lands come from. Because soul memories of gi and gift. Your soul is ancient. You've been here before. You've done this before is what they're saying. And they're saying that there's something, there are gifts that you're connecting, that you're meant to connect with 
through connecting to your emotions here because even with this person even with this card this is a sleeping uh statue or like the statue of the buddha this is someone just sleeping at the bot bottom of the ocean here again connect to your emotions so it's sleeping at the bottom of the ocean but it's like a long deep slumber here it's a slumber that you're meant to awaken from and use your power here okay i think this is inner knowing but also we have here the last card that we have for you is we the hathers we the hathers deep love mother's milk birth as a portal so creating tapping into your creativity because also also queen of wands is very creative energy like i said i was talking about your sexual energy and using that to create right so birth is a portal for you it's a portal where you get to it's like you birthing what it is you creating something kind of shows you wow i'm getting here the mother and the child you being you know the person who wants to birth something right the child and it's almost like the mother births herself again through her child that's how birth as a portal is for you because through the things that you're creating it's showing you a different aspect of yourself a different facet of yourself to where ultimately you recognize yourself as this multifaceted being so stop micro don't don't micro in the universe if that's what you're doing be outrageously open here is this a problem where i talked about that i don't know i forgot okay so the last things I want to do for you is we're going to look at the magical spell cards here and take this as affirmations, uh, you know, affirmations, mantras, whatever you need. But yes, this is also still how the spirit world sees you. OK, so they're giving you reminders here of who you are, of your aura, of your field. So that you never forget. Look at this. I love that. OK, wait, let me finish shuffling. <laughs> Oh, that's one too many that's one too many but i will bring the one that was face down okay or face up oh okay i love that i love that i love that one so get one more please thank you thank you thank you thank you okay so we're gonna start here we're gonna start with this one this one says divine guidance okay I'm telling you, my group of our toots, please know that every prayer that you're praying silently or loudly, they are being listened to, okay, by divine guidance. They're being, they're being heard. Please let this reading reinstate your knowing, your reassurance, okay, that your prayers are being answered currently. Don't worry if it hasn't made its way to you just yet. That's okay. Because listen to this card. We're looking at how the spirit realm sees you. Divine guidance whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. This goes to show you that so I don't know who's on your spirit, your spiritual team. They're very hands-on with you, okay? They're definitely very hands-on with you. They love rerouting you to exactly where you need to be, okay, to receive, to be receptive, okay? They love to calm you down. They love to, yeah, they love to calm you down for sure. They love to help you release the old and rest. They because it's almost like, I don't know, because when you're free, it's almost like they need, they like to free your energy. They like to just let you be open and, you know, receptive where you don't worry at all because divine guidance, you are divinely guided. They don't want you to forget that at all. Whispers from the beings who shine, let their message be clear and kind. Okay. And then here we have prosperity. Excuse me. I'm bumping into the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Here we have prosperity with the number three. And prosperity here says, as this three grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. As this three grows so fine, doesn't it go to show you again, answer prayers because if the three, if the tree is going to grow, so, <laughs> so may I prosper and the tree will never not grow. <laughs> as the tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. And that's right underneath the Ten of Pentacles because, you know, in the original Rider right Waits deck, the Ten of Pentacles actually signifies another reason why I associate it with the ancestors is also it signifies the Tree of Life. 
the tree of life. So prosperity coming out here and saying, as the tree grows, so strong, so fine. So may I prosper from universal divine abundance, baby. Abundance is yours. It's your birthright. And so long as, you know, the, so long as the wind shall blow, the rain shall shine, the sun shall shine. <laughs> <laughs> what's yours will never miss you my love okay don't forget that last card that we have for you cupid is in the air we got passion with the number 11 and passion here says rise passion rise up high inflame my purpose reach the sky doesn't it feel like your prayers too it's like inflame my purpose and reach the sky you're sending your prayers up into the sky you're reaching for the sky here reaching for the heights here and it will reward you it will definitely reward you okay wow i thoroughly enjoyed your reading it was very optimistic for me you know it feels it just feels like you know, spirit is just reminding you to stay optimistic, to stay enthusiastic, to stay dreaming and wishing and hoping and praying and to keep having faith because it's rewarding. It will reward you. OK, so, yes, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it provided to you some clarity, some comfort and confirmation. OK, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello there, my beautiful group number three. Welcome to your reading where we are taking a look at how the spirit world sees you and any advice they have for you right now, okay? I hope you're doing well wherever you are. So we're gonna start here with the archetype that shows us how the spirit world perceives you and also the astrology here that's gonna be showing us, you know, it's gonna work together. So let's go ahead and start, okay? Okay, so we have for you the siren. <laughs> We have for you the siren, and it's very funny because this one also, okay, so this one also says Jupiter in Scorpio, Jupiter in Scorpio, <laughs> and the siren. I mean, doesn't it kind of go hand in hand? Because what is a siren? A siren is essentially that very, very, very sensual energy that almost... Like siren and nymph energy for me, they're kind of similar, you know, the nymphs and siren energy. It's almost like, you know, oh, they see you as very persuasive. Okay, 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 okay. They see you as someone who is very persuasive, who is very witty. I don't know why that's coming in, but it's like, you know, you have your way with words, with words, okay? You have your way with words. You have your way to make things work out in your favor, point blank and period. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It just means that you are using, okay, what it is that you have to get what you want. And I love it for you because Jupiter in Scorpio here says manipulation. And I do not want you to associate manipulation that we're talking about here to something that is bad. Because again, what does it mean to manipulate? If I have the knowledge, the wherewithal to be able to shift and change things, shape something to my own preference, that means I'm manipulating it, right? But where it goes all right is if we're using this power over another's free will, right? So they see you as someone who is able to shape energy, who is very friendly with energy, who is just very... Yeah, I think it's that Scorpio energy too. It's the Scorpio energy because, you know, Scorpio is very intense. And with Jupiter here in Scorpio, it's almost like you trying to manipulate or like it works out for you. It works out for you, you trying to shape energy into your own direction or into a, a direction of a, a direction that you want it to go. Your focus, I feel like too. They're 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 talking about your focus here as well, and they're talking about how passionate you are. Okay, because I think that's how you're able to shape things into whatever. Because you're also you're always very passionate about the things that you're doing. Okay, you're very connected to passion, sensual energy, sexual energy. Because think about it, Scorpio is also the house of sex. It's also the house of power you know, hidden power and hidden information as well, too, that you may be finding. So you are a great detective, I feel like. You're if you <laughs> if you set your mind to something to finding an information, you will find it. Okay? You will find it because there's it just nothing is ever hidden from you. 
nothing is ever hidden from you and i think this is why the spirit world loves you because you are able to use this fin fin that you have to swim into the spirit realm <laughs> If that makes sense, because that's kind of how they're showing it to me. I feel like you definitely go into spirit a lot. You 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 dwell there, okay? You're like another pile here that's very similar. Tyrant here too. I don't know. They're bringing up your desires, and I don't know if it's sexual desires or whatever it is. But it's like you don't buy into the taboos or you don't buy into the things, especially when it comes to sex. I don't know why sexuality keeps coming up, but it's almost like they see you as someone who is able to use, again, what it is that you have to get what you want in a way where you're not putting yourself in danger and you're also not abusing other people's free will okay they love how you're able to dive into your sexuality and you allow for each of them to you know explore and experience in the way that they can because you know yeah like we have very many di different desires i'm very sexually positive and I believe that it's important for us to dive into those aspects of us to pleasure ourselves or to whatever it is here. But yeah, I don't know why that's even coming here. I think it's because of serpentine because, you know, serpentine is such a very central energy for me. And it's also an energy. Serpents are wisdom. You know, it's like understanding that a lot of things that are unconventional and unorthodox about sexuality in our, you know, that in our society that people have perceived as taboo, I feel like you don't perceive them as taboo because you understand that these things have a right to play out. They have a right to explore. They have a right to, you know, be experienced. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying here because I don't want to do too much, but I don't want to say, I'm saying stuff without saying too much, okay? But let's go ahead and tap into your terror here. The spirit world sees you. Okay. <laughs> okay, just pl point blank period. I'm getting Lilith's energy in this reading, okay? This is definitely Lilith's energy. This is the dark feminine energy. And I freaking love it because this is how the spirit world sees you. And they're happy <laughs> about this, okay? And I think it's because you don't let the shackles of, you know, the societal norms to hold you into a box, to fit you into a box. A box that you literally do not fit in. You cannot fit into it. The 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 Your glory cannot fit into this, okay? Because that's how they're saying it <laughs> so we're gonna tap into your terror here we're gonna see what's going on yeah work with yourself work with yourself work with yourself okay working with yourself working with your own intuition working with exactly it's like don't let people tell you how to be you don't let people tell you how to you know explore your own inner world or explore what it is that truly gives you pleasure and if it doesn't align with again societal norm what the hell like who's who cares why is it anyone's business how i choose to pleasure myself i feel like that's how you are okay because that's what i'm getting <laughs> let's see what the yeah because three of pentacles three of pentacles this is you in alignment with all different aspects of yourself your higher self you here right now and your inner child like all aspects of yourself you're very in tune because exactly do you see yin and yang here yin and yang light and dark integrating that light and dark not being like oh it's a taboo for me to you know express these parts of my sexuality and then i have to hide this part and then like it's so much stress on the free spirit like it's just so much stress on the free spirit a spirit that just wants to be free that wants to explore that is literally desiring to explore pleasure and it's like why is it bad to explore pleasure? Like, why is that? Why is it frowned upon? It's not hurting anybody. I'm not doing, I'm not, you know, imposing on your free will. What's the issue here? <laughs> Let's see what your first card is. Exactly. King of Swords. King of Swords, you know your place. Okay. You know your place. You know how to use your mind. You know how to, again, manipulate scenarios into 
to 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 work out in your favor definitely you use your mind to work out in your favor okay because again you're just you're wise you're a very wise soul you're a very wise spirit a wise and free spirit who knows that hey i am not limited i am not limited i'm not going to be fit into a box it's like this king of Thrones understands that knowing in fact you wield that sort of truth and you always express your truth and your authenticity and this is what people perceive whether they like it or not that's on them that's their problem it's not a you problem it's a them problem okay because that's how the king of swords is perceiving himself to me right now it's like listen i got the ouija board like i can see it all i can see different spectrum i can understand i have depths even okay this is like you're seeing the depths okay of where your emotions go and even further beyond okay and it's like you're using your mentality to kind of guide you like okay this is what i want to do this is not what i want to do and that's also your truth that's also your boundaries that's you implementing boundaries like no you're not going to tell me how to live my life this is my life i am in charge of my life and i'm going to work with myself to let go of all the parts of me that were once suppressed okay that were once suppressed interesting that were once suppressed due to the manipulation of others due to the manipulations of others okay because they think that they're being righteous. It's almost like. It's almost like there's something here where they think that they're doing good. But actually, that wasn't good at all. And at least it's not even good for you. Not in your book, okay? It doesn't fit. Exactly. Queen of Pentacles. I create my world. Do you see? We have the king and the queen here. And then we also have here light and dark. So I love this energy because you're someone okay you know <laughs> you know what you like <laughs> and you will do what is what you like it doesn't matter even if people think that it's a taboo you don't you don't you do not give a rat's ass at all okay because with this queen of pentacles you end up building you end up creating you end up amassing and accumulating the grandest life possible that you could ever think of okay where your desires are being yeah you're exploring yourself you're exploring your sexuality and you find people who are on this level with you also like you find like-minded people as well and it's because you stood in your authenticity it's because you stayed speaking your truth with your sword here which has now helped you create heaven on earth because with the queen of pentacles she is literally in her realm that she's built which is heaven on earth earth it's like she's put the boundaries of like no this is what i'm not gonna take i'm gonna take this and then like at the end of the day she builds what it is that she wants to build and that's what her and her focus here is also very important because it's like it's like for her to thrive she can't focus on the bs or what people are saying she has to focus on her own intuition on her own authenticity on her own true heart's desires and if it's in alignment again with her highest good because this is how she creates what she creates. This is how she builds her garden. And this is how she grows her garden, okay? She's planted seeds that are now growing and are now replenishing her. Because she stood up for herself. Because she worked with herself. She worked with her innermost self, her subconscious, her super... Like, she, she worked on all levels here, okay? With the Three of Pentacles. And I feel like this goes to show you, too, how connected you are to your guides, okay? To your guides as well. Because within the Three of Pentacles, it's essentially you're learning from your high... You're, like, you're learning from yourself, but sometimes on a very introspective level to where you then use what it is that you've learned on the introspective level to build something on your external level or to be able to then move forward to building something because you already got the answers from within you already set the plans you you're now just making the motion you're making the moves like you gained the clarity that you needed to gain from the king of swords here with your ouija board and the all-seeing eye here it's like you already saw the truth you know like you understand why your desires are there and you're not just going to suppress them. You're going to let them flourish like the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to nurture them, okay? You're going to nurture them because it's, you know, yeah, it's part of you. Like, you can't just shut it down. Like, it's not, you know, I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> that's what they're saying. This is how the spirit world sees you. I hope you're resonating with it. But um, you're a very, very, very powerful person. They're saying that when it comes to expansion and you moving things around you, manipulating energies to work in favor of your expansion, you do very well doing that, okay? That is definitely in your favor. King of Swords is a very, very honest leader. 
it's a leader definitely because that's why it's a king and the kings are responsible for kingdoms and they're responsible for the people that live within their kingdom as well so i feel like you're being raised up or you've been you've gotten that clarity or you have that sense of clarity that sense of knowing that again some of the things some of the things that maybe society might perceive as taboo or society some of the truths that society has manipulated and distorted they're not yours so then you broke away from that and you started to listen to yourself you started to work with yourself here and ultimately you get to the queen of pentacles here like you build what it is that you truly desire and nothing held you back and what what kept moving you forward was your innate wisdom okay it was your need to keep rising up it was your need to keep awakening yourself to keep awakening your highest potential to keep awakening your highest perception as well okay it's like a perception here really really matters your perception of your reality and what it is what what you want your reality to look like as opposed to what reality <laughs> you know you perceive with your physical eyes here yeah i really like that so we're gonna tap into they see you as a badass just seriously they see you as someone who doesn't take no for an answer you know in a way where it's like is it tell me don't do this because it's just super unreasonable it's literally just dumb why they told me not to do this i'm not gonna listen like i'm gonna follow what i want to follow and honestly i will learn that way if it's gonna be good for me great if it's not great it's always a lesson and a blessing it, regardless like it doesn't matter but i love to learn on my own terms i love to like you know i love to ask the questions like okay why did they say we can't do this like is it because like you know and there's some things some of these rules like some of these rules that are associated to taboos are just uh, so dumb just so <laughs> just dumb to me at least okay in my opinion do you and be you boo boo i feel like that's what spirit realm is saying about you okay because you have your own internal guidance here that is definitely always leading you to the top here. Well, or maybe even to the bottom, like you diving into something here, just that your inner knowing always leads you somewhere. <laughs> it leads you somewhere. It leads you into yourself and it leads you to seeing how connected you are to even your external realm and the people around you. And even like recognizing what influences you what is it that influences you even about the society and if you are subconsciously buying into those influencing okay okay all right so we're gonna see here from the angels and ancestors of the deck what the spirit realm would like for you to know right now okay that one was all right thank you Okay, the one that we had that was a flyer. Okay, we have Elder. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Move beyond ancestral pattern patterns. Move beyond old, outdated paradigms, okay? Because they're not your truth. You know your truth, okay? You know your truth. You know your S-H-I-T. So, <laughs> break the cycle and move beyond ancestral patterns. <laughs> And then we have here all oh, protection guardian drop your shields especially when it comes to oh, okay okay i'm getting the vibe here that i don't know okay like there's this energy that has been super repressed super suppressed um that it's almost like if uh, like if you don't work with it you know if you don't find a way to bring this into the light or bring this into balance it will go into its shadow like it will be completely engulfed by the shadow to where you feel like you need to be overly protective or feel like you have to look over your shoulder or just feel like you're not safe when you're when you're oh my god just feel like you're not safe in your own body in your own soul because you're having these desires but then externally or in our in our in our world here you don't feel like you can fit in because they see whatever it is about you as a taboo or something like that right so they're calling you here to drop your shields to not worry to keep again 
you know the truth connect to the truth internally if you're having problems with that okay if you're being defensive or if you feel like you have to over look over your shoulder or you know i feel like you just if that's happening then that's showing you what you need to release it's showing you the fears that are no longer resonating with your own beautiful siren frequency here okay because you're a very 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 sensual soul group number three <laughs> please don't forget that okay and i want you to do something with it <laughs> protection guardian drop your shields you're protected you are highly protected okay especially when you're expressing yourself when you're making things work in your favor things that were supposed to work against you when you're making it work in your favor know that you're protected okay so let's go ahead and see here from the star seed of the deck what we can get yeah move beyond ancestral patterns like don't just blindly follow rules that were meant to, that they were portrayed as a taboo don't follow rules that were just supposed to box you in that's what elder move beyond ancestral patterns is telling you because i truly feel like we're in a very auspicious times where again a lot of distorted truths or illusions are breaking away and we need to summon the courage within ourselves to keep being very authentic in our self-expression in our sexuality in any in, in our desires even and to just be honest with ourselves and to recognize like okay where is this desire coming from is it something that is real is it is it like like, do I truly want to explore, explore and express this? Or is this even another thing that I've picked up from society that I now feel like I have to buy into? Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. So, they're asking you to beware. So, we have here. Exactly. This is deep. This is very deep. This is deep. This is deep. Okay. Seas of Mintaka. And Seas of Mintaka says, seeing potential see okay tell me this siren is not diving into this ocean the ocean of potential seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light exactly bringing truth to light because you and your desires or whatever it is this siren energy that you feel that they see you as it's almost like it comes from a place of inner knowing though with the king of swords here it's like this is how you connect this is how you bring that unconsciousness to light. You get that clarity from the divine. You get the clarity of why your desires are there in the first place, right? And if you're honest with yourself too, it's almost like you see your own potential, the potential to explore something, to explore a desire, to explore some pleasure, a different form of pleasure that is not easily, you know, accepted or that is not a norm in society. So it's like you're seeing the potential and you're bringing the unconsciousness to light. It's like you're helping us understand that, you know what, these things that may have seemed like it was a taboo before, it was because people didn't understand it. It was because it was distorted. It was because we didn't have, you know, we didn't have the wherewithal back then to understand whatever this is. But now we are, again, in this auspicious times of like, listen, a lot is coming to light. Unconsciousness is coming to light. And then we have here the seven star sisters. The seven star sisters, birth and creations, tapestry of life, expression. Expression. It's been the same thing I've been thinking about the whole time. This is about you expressing yourself, okay? Expression. Seven star sisters. And the seven star sisters is also Pleiades. And Pleiades for me is a star of unconditional love. Anytime I connect to that, it's like I embrace all parts of myself. Even the parts that they told me was a taboo. I don't care. I'm just, I like, I just love all parts of myself. Okay, my camera cut off. So I'm so sorry about that. I don't even know where I stopped. But yeah, it really reminds me to accept and embrace all different parts of myself, even the parts that, you know, are not the norm for a lot of people in our society or are the parts where it's a taboo for the parts of people in the society. So it's got here, birth and creation, tapestry, tapestry of life and expression. Exactly. Expressing, expressing your authenticity because you are a unique blueprint and you're meant to express, express yourself here. You are a unique blueprint. Your soul is unique. It has a unique blueprint of self, of its own self-expression. So we're going to tap into the, uh, into what's it called? Your magical spell cards. This is how the spirit world sees you. On these cards, there are affirmations or mantras here. You can repeat multiple times until you feel like it's resonating in your energy field, in your frequency, Okay.
So how does the spirit world sees you? What do you want them to know? Thank you. Wow, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Okay, you're definitely coming from another group here. Thank you. Beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, my loves, look at this. Romance. It's a sacred... Listen, let's just do them in order, okay? Let's do them in order. I'm a little too excited. I feel like you can feel that in my energy but yes i'm really trying so hard to calm down right now because i'm filled with excitement i am filled with excitement for you to keep just literally align with your magical powers because didn't we talk about scorpio being a house of power hidden power you know inherited power even inherited power like it's just this is power that cannot be taken from you this is power that it's literally your inner power it cannot be taken from you and it can also not it's like and this is not the type of power, too, that you use over someone because then that's not real power. But again, magical powers. I weave and I clear. I cast and I know magic secrets to me now show. I weave and I clear. I cast and I know magic secrets to me now show. You are a phoenix rising. You've tur you're turning something here again that you've learn to suppress about yourself and you're turning it into your magical power you are the phoenix that is rising from its ashes okay please know that and then here we have this also came out in another group this came out in another group let me know because you will know as soon as you see this card you will know why it was important in that other group group justice by the power of three by three, my art delivered justice to me. Exactly. In all the parts that you were forced to be suppressed or they forced you to be in a box that you do not fit, my art is bringing justice to you on that realm, okay? And the last beautiful card that we have for you here is romance. Romance, romance, romance. See, we can talk about self-expression. Exactly. I feel like this is talking about you even romanticizing your life as well as romance being your own power. Like, romanticizing your life calling it romance or whatever romance here says romance it is a sacred power let it come to me this hour romance it is a sacred power let it come to me this hour so earlier on when we started your reading i said that you're very persuasive i think what i mean is that you like there's so much power in your tongue there's so much power in your tongue in a way that when you speak something, when you say something, it, it's like be and it is, okay? Because this, let it come to me this hour, it's almost demanding. I'm not asking for it. I'm not begging for it. I know I'm going to get it. So I demand it, okay? I demand it. Let it come to me this hour. I demand it with utmost respect, by the way, with utmost respect, okay? And with a light heart, okay? And to, again, to use this energy for good. I'm not trying to use it for bad, you know? Like, what is the intention, right? And I feel like whatever your intention is rooted in, if it's for the highest good, it makes it three times three times three stronger. It makes it even more stronger, okay? So yes, use it. Use what it is that you have to get what you want. I've been saying that earlier. And don't mistake that for something else. But again, this is your power. You have magical powers. You cast, like magic secrets shows to you. Because again, with Siren, you swim with your fins into the spirit world. Like you learn things. And it's because, again, you're just very, you're a very open spirit that wants to learn. Like, it's like a very fluid, thank you. It's a very fluid spirit. You're a fluid spirit. Okay. Okay. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to, that it provided to you some clarity, comfort, and confirmation. If you didn't enjoy this reading, please don't forget to support my channel by liking, commenting, or sharing. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that and turn your notification bell on. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye!